everybody, and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43, and tonight we are back. Not just back in the Yuga, but back from my surgery. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm still in a lot of pain, so you guys will have to bear with me if I'm not my normal self here. But I'm going to do my best to get you guys the content that you guys want. So, uh, yeah, I decided to jump into Yuga, and we are in a division with uh, Mod Squad here. Just, I uh, ended up divisioning up with him for a few matches, and uh, we had we had quite a good time. It was, it was a lot of fun. But uh, we're going to push in and try to go left. Now, you might recognize the map. Uh, it is the condensed version of Northern Waters. And we spawned on what normally would be the right spawn, but the middle spawn here. And uh, we're going to go kind of right in there. I mean, in the Huga, because you have the um, the reload booster, you can get away with some things that you wouldn't normally get away with um, at Tier 5. But we're going to have a lot of fun here. And uh, we're not the only one. Mod Squad is also in the Yuga. So, we're going in with two Yugas, with two reload boosters, and we're going to absolutely shred the enemy team. Now, I just want to start by saying thank you to everybody for your, your support. Uh, you guys have been absolutely incredible, and I do appreciate everybody reaching out and wishing me the best uh, through my, my recovery and stuff from my eye surgery. I do appreciate you guys. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I am in a lot of pain still. Uh, should be going away over the next day or two, hopefully. Uh, they say three to four days is about the time you get back to full normal. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're still struggling, I'm not gonna lie. Um, basically all I want to do is just lay down and sleep and hopefully wake up when I feel better. But, uh, yeah, done a lot of sleeping and now it's four o'clock in the morning. So I'm just like, you know what, let's just make a video for you guys. And maybe pass a little bit of time without having to think about my eyeball. Now the good news is, according to my surgeon, the, the surgery did go really, really well. Um, nothing unusual popped up or anything when she was in there. Um, it was a little weird. I went under general anesthesia for a very short amount of time while they numbed up the rest of the right side of my face. Um, and then they bring you out of general anesthesia and you've got the entire right side of your face or the side that they're operating on completely um hidden now this this congo is I'll, I'll, i i kind of screwed up but this congo is going to feel the wrath of two yugas using their reload booster right now we overmatch and he also gets punched by uh somebody else as well uh, i want to say it's the battleship to my left but uh he does get a little bit behind the thing but we do reach out and we get another ten thousand off of him he's going to come around the corner and he's going to get blapped by uh, mod squad as well so you can see just how nasty this man just got touched i mean that's just rude isn't it but anyway it's a little weird having the entire right side of your face um numb like it's i'm not gonna lie it is a, a weird experience you know what's even more weird the fact that when you're under uh, local anesthesia, is what they call that, and they're operating on you, they put a sheet, basically a sheet, over your head so that you're not looking at what they're doing. Because that would be a little distracting, don't you think? Um, now, I'm not going to lie, I should have waited for that shot on the Peter. Uh, that should have been an absolute death strike. But that was on me. I, I rushed the shot. I deserve to uh, come up short here. Now, that being said, we do have the Congo here. We're going to go ahead and try to finish off this Congo. Um, and Mod Squad's going to be able to uh, punch the Peter. Now, uh, we go ahead as we're getting ready to we save our shells here. We know that the Peter Veliki cannot be overmatched by us. So we aim high up onto that, that side plating. And then he turns towards us and gets absolutely dev struck. So, uh, yeah, it was a good good play between two two teammates. Two div mates at that. Now, unfortunately, he goes down. And that leaves just me to uh, continue this fight. And we, we are going to continue the fight. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, back to the surgery. Uh, we end up with this, like, plastic sheet over our head. And, of course, my right eye is exposed because th that's the one that they're working on. You can't see out of that eye, okay? When they put you under a local anesthesia, like, th you can't see out of that eye. You're completely blind in that eye while they're working on it. Which is probably a good thing, because the last thing I want to see is 
pointy things coming at my eyeball. And that's why they put the sheet over your head too, is to keep you from seeing those pointy things to go in for your eyeball. Now, the entire procedure I think took somewhere in the 35 to 45 minutes. Uh, oh my god, torpedoes! Help! <laughs> oh no! Well, we didn't get flooded, so there's that. Oh, never mind, we got flooded. Luckily, our damage con's about to come off cooldown, and at least we know where the destroyer kind of is. But, uh, but yeah. So, anyway, we ended up, um, slightly having a, an issue. And by slightly having an issue, I mean is the procedure lasted long enough that I started to get some feeling back in the right side of my eyeball uh, as they were doing the work. Now, I wasn't in pain or anything like that, and I told them that at the time I was like, uh, just so you guys are aware, uh, I don't know if this is normal, I can feel what you guys are doing. And of course there's the brief pause where everybody goes, oh my god, did we screw up? And then they're like, are you in pain? I'm like, no, I'm not in pain. And they're like, okay, well then you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it is weird when you can feel them after they've done the surgery, they're starting to do all the sutures, right? The the stitches. And as they're doing the sutures, thank God we didn't get flooded there. That could have been awful. Uh, 30 seconds of a flood would have been death. But uh, while they're doing the sutures, you can feel them pulling everything tight and, and, and finishing the sutures. And that's what I was feeling, was every time that they would pull those sutures tight, I could actually feel that. And I was telling them, I'm like, hey, you know, just so you know, it, it, I don't know how much longer we're going, but if I'm starting to feel things, I feel like we should maybe think about, you know? And they're like, oh, you're done. We did good. Everything looks fine. And so I'm like, oh, well, okay, in that case, we're good. But uh, no, it was... It was an experience, I will say that. Um, now, obviously, there's there's gonna be some potential, like, things that you run into. My biggest thing right now is just pain. Like, it, your eye is one of the most sensitive areas on your body. Um, have you, if you've ever worked, you don't even have to work, like, if you've ever gotten anything, an eyelash in your eyeball, you ever do that? Then you know just how sensitive your eyeball actually is. Uh, there's so many nerve endings in your eye. So, every one of those... Ooh, those look solid. And, yep, we got him. And then he's gonna eat some torpedoes, and down he goes. Flooded to death by the Gepard. But, uh, yeah. We had a pretty solid game. 121,000 damage. The Destroyer is not gonna get himself spotted, but we managed to keep ourselves alive and keep ourselves away from those torpedoes for the most part. And, uh... Anyway, I just, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, I know it was kind of a manic video, but that's kind of the way these ki these kind of things go, when I want to give an information about the game, but then I also want to give information about the surgery and stuff, because I know you guys want to know these things, in terms of, uh, you know, keeping up with where I am, how I'm doing, and all of that. But, uh, yep, the, d the Destroyer actually does get himself spotted here, so we're going to go ahead and shoot the front guns at him, and we get a good solid hit. We get four shells, which means all of the shells that we just fired at him from the front of the, the ship hit that man. All of them. Now, we almost screw up here and catch a torpedo turning in, but we didn't. And then we're able to turn back out and we're able to slip that torpedo as well. So, we got pretty fortunate there that we didn't take a torpedo, but, uh, yeah. Either way, we've we've had a pretty fun fun game. 127,000 damage done, and unfortunately, he's right behind the smoke screen. My destroyer, for whatever reason, is running away. I don't understand that, but whatever. And I'm not firing my guns because I don't want him to be able to see me and launch more torpedoes. If he wants to launch torps, he's gonna have to come out to spot me, and then we'll have a chance. But uh, the game's almost over. Uh, 816 points and uh, counting down. And if this guy ever shows himself, we'll get rid of him pretty quickly. But, but yeah, so overall, the surgery seems to have gone pretty well, according to my surgeon. Um, I do go in for a checkup on the first uh, as a follow-up appointment. And then also, I have to, uh, you know, keep this uh, st steroid and, and antibiotic ointment. I put that on three times a day on my right eye. Um, and then, of course, cleaning it and make sure everything's good to go 
on that that side of things but uh we're doing the best we can to get back to you guys as quickly as possible while still managing to uh you know protect myself i don't want to rush back into things especially work because bouncing up and down on a forklift all night is definitely not good when you've got sutures in your eyeball so we're gonna be off work uh for at least a week um, which is what we planned and then uh, we'll see from there how I feel. But uh, we take the shot. Unfortunately, Duca D'Asta manages to finish him off. Thought we were going to get that kill. Didn't quite make it. But uh, we ended up with a solid game. 2167 base XP. So a solid result there. And a solid game overall. So let me know what you guys think. Are you glad that I'm back to recording a little bit? Let me know. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.